Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for April the 15th. Good Friday. <clears throat> is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? Look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which was brought upon me, whom the Lord has afflicted. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have, have mercy on us, on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, open our lips, and our, our mouths mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. Glory to the Father, and, and to the, the Son, Son, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, Come let, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let's bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For this is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, Come let, let us, us adore, adore him. him. <clears throat> psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 22. Psalm 22 can be found on page 610. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me, and are so far from my cry, and from the words of my distress? <clears throat> oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. By night as well, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forefathers put their trust in you, they trusted, and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not put to shame. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, if he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me out of the womb and kept me safe upon my mother's breast. I have been entrusted to you ever since I was born. You were my God when I was still in my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many young bulls encircle me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their jaws at me, like a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, all my bones are out of joint. My heart within my breast is melting wax. My mouth is dried out like a potsherd. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth, and you have laid me in the dust of the grave. Packs of dogs close me in, and gangs of evildoers circle around me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Be not far away, O Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Save me from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, my wretched body from the horns of wild bulls. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. Praise the Lord, ye that fear him. Stand in awe of him, O offspring of Israel. 
All you of Jacob's line, give glory. For he does not despise nor abhor the poor in their poverty, neither does he hide his face from them. But when they cry to him, he hears them. My praise is of him in the great assembly. I will perform my vows in the presence of those who worship him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. And those who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your heart live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall bow before him. For kingship belongs to the Lord. He rules over the nations. To him alone all who sleep in the earth bow down in worship. All who go down to the dust fall before him. My soul shall live for him. My descendants shall serve him. They shall be known as the Lord's forever. They shall come and make known to a people yet unborn the saving deeds that he has done. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Simon Peter said to Jesus, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow afterward. Peter said to him, Lord, why cannot I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Truly, truly I say to you, the cock will not crow till you have denied me three times. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 9 on page 86. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy, for the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Together on page 96, I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his, only his only Son, our Lord. Lord. He, he was conceived, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Mary. He, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, died, died and was buried. He, he descended to the dead. On, on the third day he rose again. again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross. 
who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, on this day when our Lord Jesus Christ laid down his life for the world, we pray that in looking on his cross, we may know both the cruelty of this world and your eternal love. God of glory, whose Son, Jesus Christ, offered his life that the world might live, fix our eyes on his cross, that in the crucifixion of our Savior we may know the depth of this world's sin and the perfection of your forgiveness, the pain of this world's hurt and the comfort of your healing, the fragility of human life and the promise of its eternal destiny, through one who was lifted high to draw all people to himself, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, we pray for all who live in places of war and terror, especially in Ukraine, for those civilians held captive, for those being used as human shields, for those in hiding from oppressive governments or from the cruelty of criminals, and for those who feel themselves surrounded by personal enemies. Lord, you hear the cry of the oppressed, and you are attentive to their need. Show your mercy to all who live in fear of being overcome by those stronger than themselves. Be with them in the hidden places of their spirit. Help them to know your love for them in all their troubles. Deliver them from all who would do them harm, and help them to know that your might is greater than the strength of all the powers of this world, and that no one can truly be lost forever. Through the power of the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. This time I invite you to add your own intercessions and thanksgivings. For all those preparing for baptism. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Together on page 101, Almighty God, Father, Father of all, all mercies, we, your unworthy, unworthy servants, servants, give you humble, humble thanks, thanks for all your goodness, goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means, means of, of grace, grace and for the, the hope of glory. glory. And we and pray, we pray give, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our, in our lives, lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking, walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.